Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez from Mott. I'm jumping on here. It is now midnight Eastern Standard Time. I have just gotten home from the Miami Florida State football game. At the same time, I was watching the, the New York Yankees LA Dodgers game two um, from, on my iPad at the football game. Um, so I did see the game, of course, because I'm not going to miss that. And the Dodgers come away with a 4-2 win over the Yankees. The Dodgers escape a bases-loaded situation. Anthony Volpe, for love of God, man. I mean, this team cannot get one hit when it matters. They cannot get one hit. It is crazy watching Anthony Volpe up there swing at nothing but Bad pitches that are, uh, you know what this pitcher is throwing. He's not going to throw you one fastball. He's going to throw nothing but sweepers and sweeper curveballs. And that's all he threw, and you swung at every single one of them. Well, actually, you swung at the first one. That was literally a foot and a half off the plate in the dirt. And then you didn't swing at the next two. They were both balls. And then you swung at another one that actually did cut the plate. And then you swung at another one that was off the plate. And then he's looking at another one that was on the, in the dirt. Like, it's all that he's got. It's all this pitcher was throwing. He strikes out with the bases loaded with one out. And then Aaron Boone brings in Jose Trevino to p- face uh, the relief pitcher that came in. Because it was a pitcher that was in the game at the time for the Dodgers who allowed the bases loaded situation was Blake Trennan um, or Trenin. And then who came in for him? They brought in... Uh, Alex Vesia, as he's a lefty, which is why I presume Boone went with Trevino. Although, realistically, I probably would, probably would have gone with Trevino as well because Austin Wells can't hit a fucking beach ball. I, I mean, the Yankees got to the World Series with probably the easiest run you could possibly get. And almost a cakewalk. And it was despite the fact that they have all, for the most part, been slumping. They've all been slumping. It's crazy how much this whole team has been in the slump. And it starts with Aaron Judge. But Austin Wells was hitting really, really well. And then all of a sudden, the man can't hit. He, he could, if you put the ball on a tee, he couldn't hit the damn ball off the tee. So he gets sat, and Jose Trevino comes in. And I'm sitting here saying, take a pitch. Please take a pitch. No, first pitch, fly ball, left field, game over. I, I mean, you can't make this stuff up with how this team approaches at bats. You have a new pitcher coming in. Make him show you that he can throw a goddamn strike. I understand that might have been the best pitch Trevino might see, but you haven't hit in two weeks, week and a half. Take a pitch. See it. Make him earn it. I, I just it, it, the Yankees did this all night. Yankees did this all night. Carlos Rodon, massive disappointment. His fastball had no movement. It was straight fastball, straight fastball, straight fastball, straight fastball. He had no movement on his pitches. The Yankees, they, they opened the game. They hit a home run in the second inning. Uh, to, uh, Tommy Edmond hit a home run uh, to left field that cleared the little mini, the mini wall to make it one nothing. Then Soto comes in. And Soto and the and Juan Soto ties the game up in the in the third um, to make it 1-1. That was the only hit the Yankees had. I think God till the ninth inning, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I don't think the Yankees had another hit until the ninth inning. Single, single, yeah, all three hits. They had one hit going into the ninth inning. One. Soto leads off the single. He goes to second on a wild pitch. Aaron Judge swinging at a bad sweeper, then takes the strike looking down the middle, then takes the ball, and then he strikes out on the ball that's literally three feet off the plate. I, I, I'm, I'm going here, folks. Aaron Judge has to get moved down on the lineup. I, 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 there's, no, you have no, there's nothing else to do at this point. It's not going to happen. It's not. They're not going to treat him like they treated A-Rod when A-Rod was scuffling in the playoffs years ago. But Aaron Judge needs to be moved in the lineup. 
Aaron Judge is going to go down as the biggest choke artist in the history of playoff baseball. The best regular season guy. But he is choking his ass off. It, it's paining me to watch him hit. He looks like he has, he, he looks like he never played baseball. And I love Aaron Judge. I love Aaron Judge. But for the, like this guy picks the worst time of the year to not hit for shit. He's not even competitive with these swings. He is fishing at garbage and it starts in the first inning. Strike out, third inning, fly out to right, weak fly out. Sixth inning, strike out again. Dude, ninth inning, strike out. And he's striking out on the same shit, curveballs. He looks like Pedro Serrano from Major League right now. That's how bad he looks when he gets a curveball. And because he's so bad on the curveball right now and can't see it, when they throw a fastball, he's late. He's just late. I'm just, it's fr- its mad frustrating. I, I'm, I'm just tremendously disappointed for him because I really thought he'd figure this thing out. But right now, he is killing our lineup. You need to move, you need to move Giancarlo Stanton into the three hole because Juan Soto cannot be pitched around. I tell you what, Giancarlo Stanton may strike out a ton himself in, 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 in baseball, but he's putting his bat on the ball. He's not looking like he's scared to death. Like Aaron Judge looks shook. He looks shook. And I was watching the guys on um, I think it's Talking Yankee, uh, Talking Yankees, John, John Boy. I think that's what their, their thing is called. Um, I was watching John Boy, and he even said, "I feel like one of those guys is going to call the WFAN and going crazy on Aaron Judge because this is where Aaron Judge has us right now. He's awful right now, awful." Glaber Torres has been fine in leadoff. Look, we didn't hit the ball today. But again, if you look at the, you look at what we had today, the Yankees, you got Glaber Torres doesn't have a hit. He had a walk in the first inning. Soto has two, is two for four. Stanton's one for four. Chisholm's one for four. I mean, Chisholm and Stanton both got both their hits in the ninth inning. They kept fighting, and I repre- I appreciate they kept fighting. They didn't give up. They didn't quit. Today, the Yankees only struck out seven times, but Yamamoto had them all over the place, man. And three of those seven Ks were Judge, and the other two were Anthony Volpe. And Anthony Volpe, my God, bro, you're like Judge. Can you not swing at every fucking sweeping curveball? They're not going to throw you a fastball until you fucking lay off the curve. It's like you're, 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 you're giving up at bats. And, and look, man, so, you know, Soto leads off, gets, hits, ties it at one in the third. And then immediately thereafter, Rodon gets through the first two hitters. And then he falls behind Mookie Betts. And Mookie Betts gets a base hit. And then Teoscar Hernandez hits a ball right over the plate, smashes it to right field, makes it three to one. And then Freddie Freeman yanks one for another home run. It's four to one. And there's your ball game. Four one right there. Fourth, third inning, and that's how it stayed until the ninth. The Yankees were no threat at any point. And I will say this. The Yankees' bullpen tonight was fantastic. I don't agree. I'm going to say this again. I do not agree with not using Marcus Stroman. You're using up your bullpen again. They're going to be fucking exhausted by Monday. You're using them all up again. We got Cousins who did okay. Tim Hill did fine. Tim Hill was the guy that should have pitched last night instead of Nestor Cortez. And now you see how critical that game was because now the Yankees are down 2-0. They have to win all three in New York. For the, for the Yankees to win this series, they're going to have to, it's going to go, it would probably go seven because it's going to be hard to win four straight. I mean, I've seen the Yankees do it before. They, they won four straight against Atlanta in 1996. They're falling behind 0-2. But man, Clay Holmes pitches well. Mark Leiter pitched. Everyone in the bullpen pitched well today. So there was nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, you didn't have to, I, I this is a game where I'm gonna go to Marcus Stroman. I got to. I can kid. Like, why is this guy on the roster if you're never gonna use him? Why? It doesn't make sense. But but Rodon just throwing just straight meatballs. Straight fastballs. There's no movement on the pitches. You, you look at the pitches that these guys hit. 
it, it, it's one of those things where you sit here and you say, shit, man. I, and I thought Rodon looked good initially. And then it's like, oh, here we go, the home run ball coming. Home run ball coming. He's throwing batting practice. You know, and you fall, and it, and it all starts from falling behind in the count. He falls behind on Edmund 2 0, four seam pitch right down the middle, bang, homer. Then you have, uh, he gets the first two out, he strikes out. Oh, Tani's doing nothing for the most part. Outside of that double he hit yesterday, he's doing nothing. And now Otani, I'm wondering what happened if his wrist is badly hurt because he, why is he stealing? You're 4 1. And it wasn't the Yankees that did it. He comes down hard. I don't know what the prognosis is on his wrist as, as of this moment. But, again, here we got the four-seam pitch right down the middle. First pitch is a ball. It's high. The next one is right over the right over the heart of the plate. Teoscar Hernandez goes right with it. See, that's part of the thing. You can hit a bomb if you just go with the pitch, and that's part of the problem the judge is having right now. He's not. He's pulling off everything. He looks shook. So Teoscar Hernandez makes it three to one. Fastball right down the middle. Freddie Freeman. Strike looking on a slider. Ball. It's one and two. Then he throws another. He throws a slider that's so far off the plate. There's no way in hell he's going to swing at it. Another slider that's so far off the plate. There's no way, no, way, no way in hell he's going to swing at it. And then he throws him a home. Up, 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 right down the middle. Middle in. Middle in. 96. Bomb. All these home runs are off fastballs that have no movement. And um, even the next guy came up to the plate. <laughs> Tommy Edmond came up to the plate in a double. And and Rodon escaped when Hernandez, uh, Kiki Hernandez hit a, hit a liner to 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 uh, Alex Verdugo in left field. And then Rodon had faced Muncie in the in the fourth, and that was it for him. That was it for him. Yankees lose four two, um, but we really got to look at what the hell's going on with Aaron Judge here because. I, first of all, Austin Wells needs to be benched. Um, at this point, he's not good. He's not good enough. If if Aaron Judge wasn't Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge would Aaron Judge would get benched. I'd rather have Trent Grisham play right now. But this also goes back to the mistake that uh, Aaron Boone made in not keeping John Birdie on in the, on the roster. John Birdie could play different positions because um, John Birdie right now I would consider putting in for Volpe. Because Volpe is, you can't have three hitters that can't hit a fucking curveball. You can't have three hitters right now that are scuffling so bad. Because everyone, no one else is really scuffling like those three. Stanton, yeah, he's gonna strike out. He's also he's also crack cracking the ball. Jazz Chisholm has had some good swings tonight. I mean, he had a liner that that ended up being out. I mean, he had a hit and he had a hit in the in the ninth. You know, so he he's been hitting okay. Verdugo, even Verdugo's hit okay. But Vol Judge Volpe and and Wells, you got three guys that are just a guaranteed twelve outs, nine to twelve outs, nothing giving you nothing. It's it's pain. It pains me. It pains me. People ask about Derek Jeter. Talk about when you look at Derek Jeter, they, they say, "Oh, he was so great in the playoffs." No, he wasn't. He was he was Derek Jeter. That's who he was. He was the same guy who played in the regular season and he played the same way in the playoffs. So his 300 batting average in the regular season was 300 in the playoffs. It wasn't like he went from 300 to 450, but he didn't go 300 to 210. And that's what made Derek Jeter so special is that Derek Jeter, he might have a bad day today, but tomorrow he'll be back. And he wasn't trying to hit homers, so he didn't strike out a ton. And he was a great contact hitter, great opposite field hitter. He understood how to play baseball, but he also his game didn't change. Like I can tell you right now, Shohei Otani for all the money he's making is looks like shit right now too. Shohei Otani had the double yesterday, but I mean today Otani's 0 for three with a walk and a strikeout did nothing. Now possibly fucked his wrist up, and if he can't play, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. And I'm looking to see if there's any. Oh, oh, it, oh! It says he hurt his shoulder. Oh, my God. He has a partial shoulder dislocation. There's no way this man can play. Partial shoulder dislocation. I thought he broke his wrist. He popped his shoulder out on that slide. Dodgers manager Dave Roberts said Otani suffered a subluxation defined as a minor dislocation off of the shoulder and would under... 
Wow. They added his strength and range of motion were good at the end. The team was encouraged. Bro, I don't know how the hell you can. I will say this. It was his left shoulder. So if there's a shoulder that you want to have have that happen to and you're a left-handed hitter, that's the shoulder. Because if it's the right shoulder and you're coming through, like you're coming through, the bat's coming like this. This shoulder, I don't, I mean, I played baseball. I think the one that matters more is I was right-handed, so it would be this hand, the left arm. You know, that's the one that's going to feel the pain. So if you're swinging, that's where most of the motion, unless you, he's a, he, I don't know, man. <clears throat> he's expecting him to play. Wow. I don't know why he's stealing that base. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, right now, I tell you right now, the Yankees are in a, in, a, in trouble. It's 2-0. It's not looking good at the moment. They need to come back and win game. They have to go one game, one game at a time. They need a good pitching performance. They got a hit, bro. You got to combine five runs in two games. You're not going to win if you only can score, if you're barely scoring any runs. You're not going to win. And and if Aaron Judge does not hit, the Yankees don't win. The Yankees will not win. If Aaron Judge does not start to hit, the Yankees have no fucking chance. It's that simple. This is not the Indians, Guardians. This is not the Royals. This is the Los Angeles Dodgers. They're a beast of a team. I know they're a beast of a team. I'm a Yankee fan. I know, I know how good the Dodgers are. I didn't want to play the Dodgers. I'm not lying to you. I want I wanted the Padres to beat the Dodgers. I wanted the Padres to beat the Dodgers because I thought they were they were up 2 1 in that series and gave it away. But I wanted the I wanted the Padres to beat the I didn't want to play the Dodgers. I'm not stupid. I didn't want to play the Mets either, honestly. I, I was afraid of both of these teams because the Yankees did not play well versus the Mets. And um I would probably feel worse if the Yankees lost to the Mets than if I would feel if they lost to the Dodgers. Because then that's the New York thing. I, I would have I would feel more sick about that. But yeah, right now it's 2-0. Um, I can't even get all that mad at Boone other than I think that you should use Marcus Stroman. Um, pitching on Monday is Clark Schmidt, I believe. You need to get six innings out of Clark Schmidt. It's that simple. You need six innings. He's going, he's going against Walker Bueller. Again, another pitcher for the Dodgers who has not pitched well in the postseason. He's not pitched well. But Yamamoto had not pitched well either. And he had the Yankees fishing the whole game. I was surprised they took him out. I was actually really surprised Dave Roberts took him out. That, 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 this new, this new breed of baseball, bro. I mean, Yamamoto only threw 86 pitches. He had one hit, two walks, and you pull him at six in the third. Like, why? Why? Why do that? Doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyhow, that's all I got. Uh, very disappointing, uh, especially after losing the way the, the Yankees lost on Friday night. They got to get back on Monday. You go to New York, and you got to win three. You got to win three. You're not going to uh, – could the Yankees win in seven? Yeah, sure, sure. Could they win game six and seven? Sure, they could. They're a great road team. I don't think the noise – I don't think I don't think the environment is a problem for the Yankees. I don't think there's anything – it's got nothing to do with the, 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 the environment, the noise. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with putting your bat on the damn ball. You got to hit. You've got to hit. End of story. That's all I got. Leave your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of this series so far? Obviously, if you're a Dodgers fan, you're ecstatic. If you're a Yankees fan, you're sick like I am. And uh, But we shall see. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Come on now.